Hello everyone, and welcome to Minecraft. I've um, been playing this game for a while now, so I figured I'd get a series going. I also stream the series on Twitch as well, if you want to head over to Twitch, same um, username, silentrunner underscore 54. So this is just the, obviously just the menu settings, just to set up the game. I'm going to play it in um, normal mode. So first things first. I need to empty the starter chest and make some tools. Got a couple there already. Got a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe. So we just need um, a few more. Um, shovel, sword. She's just looking around, seeing where we are, what's around us. Or what's around me, I should say. Um, first things first. Build a crafting table. So that we can then build the other tools that we need. So obviously sword very important because one of the first things to do um, in minecraft really when you have the opportunity is to make a bed so you need three lots of wool so kill three sheep you need some wool and some uh, wood The first first couple of nights um, of the game, you're probably not going to be wanting to fight mobs. Until you've sort of built where you're going to live and you've got everything that you need to survive. Um, so, next objective is to build a house. This looks like a good spot. So I'm just going to make my bed and a shovel and just flatten this bit of land off here and what's that in the distance? that looks like a village it is a village that's handy never spawned right next to a village before so change of plan uh, instead of building a house or at least yet we're going to go over to the village and see what we can find there Take up the crafting table, head over to the village. Because it does mean we can start bartering, trading with the villagers and building up those levels early um, and that will come into play later on when we start enchanting things and you need to, you need to spend levels to enchant so that will come in handy then 
so just having a quick look around the village. It's quite a big village actually. Um, I can see a lot of villagers don't actually have jobs. So the green ones, uh, the nitwits, don't just kill them because they serve no purpose. Um, you can't give them a job. They're permanently jobless, but all these others, the ones in the brown, you can actually um, give them jobs if you set down the right um, tools. You can um, basically give them the job that you want them to have. So this first villager. He wants hay, so we're just going to take up, or well, he wants wheat, so we're going to take up all this hay, it's quite a bit around this village actually. <clears throat> so we're going to take up all the, the hay bales. I think there's some more over here. Yep. There's quite a few there, so I'm going to turn that into wheat. Take it over to the villager. One transfers this one. Not far away once carrots, so it should be this one. There it is. And we'll just keep him. And then we can't take any more of us. Until tomorrow. Oh, drowned. Oh, drowned to just zombies. Basically, they get stuck in the water. Um, and because the water is a dark place, they spawn in the daytime as well. So I noticed that the villager also wanted pumpkins. So I'm gonna. Take up this pumpkin patch real quick. Oh, there's a cave here. What's in this cave? Any iron? Oh, there's a bit of coal. There's a burning zombie there. A couple of burning zombies. Get rid of them. Or they attack the villagers. Um, yeah, so not ready for a stronghold yet, but starting virtually next to a village gives me a little bit of an advantage, a little bit of a jump because I can get my levels up early, start trading and see what stuff I can get from these chests. At the minute it's mainly just food. But that's uh, that's always helpful, especially on like normal and hardcore because you're you need to eat more regularly. If you play the game on peaceful, you don't need to eat at all, and if you get if you take damage, your health pretty much um, it replenishes straight away. On easy, it doesn't replenish automatically, but you still. You don't need to eat as often, so. Oh. 
sort of basic mode to play on. Not much in these houses. Oh, we found a couple of chests at the minute. Well, this is quite a big house. This is it's like a hostel sort of thing. Like a dormitory sort of thing. Again, more food just to... Use. More hay there. I'll go and see if the farmer is ready for more hay yet. Let's have a look up here. No, it's just a... Just a balcony up there. What's in here? Oh, another chest and more food and tree saplings. Which actually might not be a bad idea to plant some trees around here because I can't see any. They're all across the water. Couple of animals there. So I haven't found any iron yet. Um, so I'm going to make some stone tools. I need to make a furnace actually. <clears throat> Start burning some coal. Uh, yep, the farm is ready for more wheat. So we'll We'll give them the pumpkins. Oh, he's not ready for more wheat yet. Um, just wait a little bit longer. Mm, already been in that chest. Smith. So I'm going to buy that axe actually. Although I have got all the stuff to be making an axe, so I could have just made one. <clears throat> so we'll take up the rest of this here. And trans uh, turn it into wheat, then he's ready for more. This looks like a good place to put the crafting station. Just make some stone tools. Got normal more D. Tools wear down at a quicker rate than on easy, so it's handy to make probably a couple of each. 
especially if you're sort of away from you. Um, crafting table for a while. become a fisherman there's another nip right over there so we're gonna okay so it's flash green so it's so it should be a fisherman somewhere we're gonna kill this nitwit because again he serves no purpose Better off putting it actually next to a villager. Um, oh, wait, hang on. There should be a change at some point. Yep, we've got a fisherman who's just lurking in the background. There he is. So he wants, no that's the farmer. Oh, well, I thought I had a fisherman. I thought I saw somebody change. Oh wait, there he is. That's the fisherman. So he wants string. Uh. 
Hmm. The best place to get string from is to kill spiders. Let's uh have to wait till dark for that and sometimes there aren't many of them. It might take a while actually to get that. String, just stick some apples in it and you might take them out. Uh, no. He hasn't done. Where is he going? <clears throat> He's going home because the sun's going down. Right, okay. So I'm going to go get the barrel. I'm going to bring it over to his house. Put it down again. He's currently lost fisherman status. If I put it down again, um, he should change back and maybe want something different this time to start with. Yep, so shut. There he is. I'll wake him up a minute. Nope, he still wants string. Um, I'll just buy some of these buckets of fish off him just to get his ankles up a bit. And we're going to go do some monster killing. So I've actually put the... I've actually earned them as an advantage. So I, I know which where is my crafting circles in. <coughs> I'm gonna go put my furnace here and start cooking the meat. Because I always forget to eat. In Minecraft. Pretty much I've got real life on the actual but I always forget to eat. So I'm trying to run and I do run everywhere as well, so I only know I need to eat when I can't run anymore. We're gonna oh that fella just set that creeper off. <laughs> That's the end of the monster killer montage. I'm going to set my bed down in here and then go to sleep. And into day three. 
So we've got, I've, I've actually built my levels up quite a bit over the last two days. We'll just check the village, make sure there are no mobs still running around. Because sometimes they do run around in the sunlight, like that. There we go. And like, oh, the village no, no, he's turned. The baby zombie villager turned the big zombie villager. The big zombie villager gets in there. And I'm gonna. I should probably fill in that hole actually. Yeah, let's do that. I'll gather up all this dirt and start filling in this hole. We'll put the trapdoor back on here as it was and start from. Just start from the bottom really and fill it in. Put a couple here. Oh. Oh, you want to get out, do you? Okay, move that then. Oh. Well, you're awkward, aren't you? So let's get this filled in. Exploring to so find some iron. And oh, I thought this was a cave. This is no cave. It's a nice little corner or something, but it's not a cave. I was hoping to find some iron. What's in here? I'll we'll find anything in this gap. This is an iron here. Oh, emerald. I've never actually come across emeralds in a mountain before. I'll dig these out and I'll climb up there. Uh, a pickaxe is going to die. Uh, I'm going to need to go get a new one. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll go make a new pickaxe. Some of the coal. Oh, being underwater it takes a little bit more time, you just gotta watch out for the, the air bubbles. Pickaxe has just died, so I'm gonna go back to the village to make a new one. Plus my guy kind of looks cool with a 
a cap on, my Cyclops toy guy. So I um no, I have a pickaxe there. Now I can go and start um mining the room later. Wood. So I need to find a tree. I think the closest one is over there. I need a chest. So I'm gonna chop down this tree. I'm going to have a quick look at the mouth of this cave, actually. Oh, there's a spider over there. So there's mobs spawning at the entrance. That's quite a big cave, actually. I'll uh, head into there at some point. Might find some iron in there. We'll take down the rest of this tree. Eat some more food. That's what I got again. All topped up. It's starting to go dark again now. So I'm going to release these fish. And then I can stack up the buckets and use them for something else. I have no use for those buckets of fish at the minute. useful at some point. Huh. Uh, nothing to upgrade yet. I actually kind of like the, the sun disappearing behind the mountains. It's kind of, it's a nice little image. this episode of Minecraft Survival Mode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.